So there's the uh, walkway I did earlier. It's almost dry now. And the uh, front porch there. A few spots in there are still just a little bit damp. All right, I'm just gonna continue cleaning this. Moved up to the big sections now. All right, ultimately, if you use the thing long enough, you're probably gonna get it clogged up and it's gonna do exactly what you saw it do down at the bottom of the driveway there. So in order to resolve that, we're gonna take a 12 millimeter and we're gonna come down here and remove the spray head. And you're gonna wanna, you're gonna get a good, a good grip up here at the, the top. Put your 12 millimeter and just unscrew it. It won't be on there super tight because it is a water nozzle. There's a couple of things you're going to need to check once you get this centerpiece out. So once you get that out, remember how the washers went, obviously. Plastic washer on the bottom there, metal washer on the top. You got a nozzle here, and this whole thing is a nozzle. So we want to clean out these nozzles here. These little nozzles have a small small hole in them and that's what gives you that's the force multiplier as far as the pressure coming out the bottom of this thing and uh we got a couple ways to clean these out just take a uh a flat head screwdriver and remove the clips here and uh get those out save them and take a pair of needle nose pliers and just grab each one of these nozzles pull it out so each one of these nozzles has a small hole in it so you want to blow some air through it do whatever you got to do some water to clean those holes out you're going to want to make sure that the hole in the main nozzle here is cleaned out and that you can blow air through it don't do what i'm doing but i'm just doing it with my mouth here just blowing anything that may be stopped up. The same thing with these. It doesn't take much for some dirt to get in these small holes. It's kind of almost like a, uh, a jet on a carburetor. One piece of uh, grit will clog that small hole up. So you can see that one, there's not much air coming out. I just blew something out of it then. All 
I'm just going to take my air compressor here real quick and blow those out. Yep, good airflow through there now. So after you got all of the the main nozzle and the two end nozzles cleaned out, you want to make sure that the part that spins here is clean as well. And there's a couple different ways to do this. You can just blow through it, put some air through it, whatever you need to do. I don't recommend blowing through it if you've been using uh, non-organic cleaners, but uh, the other thing you can do too is Take a screwdriver and remove the screw on the end here and that'll allow you to get the air gun in there and just blow it out. It's got a small plastic washer on the end so make sure you don't lose that as well. And just get some air in there. And you can take the other end out too as you want to. These seem to be pretty clean now but I did have one nozzle that was clogged up. On the end there, I couldn't blow through it, so I'm gonna put all this back together, and now you should have a system that spins and cleans like it's new now. And you want to make sure you tighten this enough where it doesn't leak water out the end. And uh, we're just gonna pop these uh, nozzles back in. It can only go in one way, so they go cross like that, and you just press them in. Same thing here, they have a little uh, rubber o-ring on them. And you can see how they're faced, that's how they actually generate that twirling motion. Uh, one is, the nozzle there is angled, they're angled, they're not straight. If you hold it up in the air, it'll spin, but it won't go as fast as it will when you put it on the ground because then that force actually creates a larger spinning speed there uh, when you hold this against the ground. So. Now you just want to put it all back together. Don't forget your clips. Put your clips back in there that hold your nozzles in from blowing out. And then we're just going to put this back on. So shiny side down. Don't forget your plastic washer. And we're just going to screw our nozzle back down. And it will only go so tight. There's enough play in there for... The rotator piece to spin freely so you can feel it when it tightens up and this should, should be able to spin freely like that or well, that's how you clean the nozzles out and we're gonna go put this back on and verify we've got it fixed
it's all the sections so that still took me about four hours and the reason why is obviously i had a bunch of uh clogs and i had to kind of figure out how this thing best works another tip is to make sure you put some grease around the o-rings in these uh nozzles in all of them and put some grease around the bushing and the washer here it'll work a lot better all right it's the next day so here's what the uh driveway looks like completely finished just have a couple of spots over there where the van tires were sitting last night just pulled it out of the driveway and and that's the walkway in the front 